Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports. Yes, I just had a toilet seat delivered. That's the story of the day. You want to know more about my life? That's how exciting it is. How are we doing, people? Welcome to the episode of the Coach to Glory with Braga, with the biggest signing of the series so far in the name of Kukju, having made his debut in the last epi. He is now a part of our team. Porta is now becoming a player that is going to be used uh, most of the time off the bench, quite often, I think. And then also he's going to be used for the reserves team, even though he is a little bit higher rated. I still believe in Kukchu as the main man for our team down the line. But you know what? Maybe, just maybe, if Sanchez's potential doesn't change, boys, we might have to just ditch him because for the next teams I, I don't know if he can grow enough man i don't know if he's able to compete he's already behind the power curve now for our team everyone is higher rated than him apart from cabore and it just isn't a good look i really hope that sanchez somehow saves himself and gets higher rated and maybe maybe just maybe the way of doing that is going ahead and putting him out on loan and trying to glitch his potential that is the only thing that I can think of right now, as we are still in a January transfer window and we're up against Porto in the league, that is the only way I can maybe possibly save Sanchez and keep him being usable for a longer period of time. Now, you guys have left comments as always. One of them actually is coming in from GRZ Plays and he says, give Kirk to the kit number 23 because that is apparently the number he wants to keep throughout his entire life. So Kirk Jew, Let's change your number, pal. And let's give you that number 23. I like number 7, but number 23 is the one. Murilo, I'm sorry, pal. You have lost your number. As always, guys, if you do enjoy the episodes, man, it would be much appreciated if you guys can hit that like button, support the channel, support us growing. And the Sprint to Glory and the I-Rated teams are coming up tomorrow. I rate your team the day after Sprint to Glory. So I hope you guys are looking forward to all that stuff. I am very much looking forward to it, uh, to bring back the series, the big series onto the channel. And then uh, the day after that, we'll be back again with the Braga career mode. So I'll uh, be prepared for two days of no Braga, just so you guys are aware, because Biscuit is moving into his place and he needs a few days off so he can sort everything out. So we are going to go ahead and do the editing ourselves for the I-rated teams and a sprint to glory. And uh, then we will have him back for Braga later on. So... Let's get into it, shall we? Let's have some fun right here. Let's see what we can achieve with this matchup against Porto. As you guys know, Porto is ahead of us in the league table. Just one point. And uh, Braga, uh, Benfica, has been running through the entire league, destroying everyone, including ourselves. Yes, if you guys did see it last episode, Benfica smacked us to pieces. 4-0 in the cup. Got absolutely ruined by Benfica. And that just opened up our eyes to realize that we are not the best team in this league. But we got to rely on other teams to take points off Benfica and do our best to win every single game that we can win. But Benfica ain't dropping no points. So let's focus on Porto and the fan objectives ahead of us. We have the next Messi on 10 out of 20. Giant killer on 2 out of 4, which we can add into in today's episode with a win against Porto. New King in town. Still haven't lost against any of those teams. Redemption. We are on three out of seven. Four more goal contributions for Lucas Piazon in the second half of the season. And we will have that one done. Trabzon Trio is on 32 out of 60 right at the half of the season. So that is good. And Singh Son is not looking good. We need to sub him on more often and get things done with Singh off the bench. So here it goes. Um, Bimbi and the boys up against Martinez, Evan Ilson, Diaz, Oliveira, Uribe, Baro, Marcano, Avazia, Membemba, Manafan, Marquesin. I don't know if that was necessary, but let's jump into the game. We have done it once against Porto. If you guys remember, we have beaten them one time and I would like to beat them again. Uh, let's get the camera sorted there. So um, this is going to be an interesting matchup for us. We have been beaten by Benfica and maybe Porto looks at that and thinks, you know what? This team really ain't that good. They really ain't that good. But I am still very hopeful to see our team succeed here. And I do want to get the three points to maybe, just maybe get closer to Benfica. That is the worst defending you will ever see. And that is a goal easily given away in the third minute of the game. The third or fourth minute. Horrible defending for me. I, uh, dude, that is so bad. I just played three foot champs games in the worst um week of the year like everyone tries their best to get gold three and gold two for those team of the season picks 
I won all four of those games comfortably. And Porto just comes in here and takes the lead in like four minutes. What the hell? Uh, maybe the difference is in that, in Ultimate Team, I do have Drogba. I do have Pele. So maybe there's a little bit of a difference to the power here. <laughs> I'm not used to playing with these low-rated players, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm used to the elite. Mambimbi. He is elite. Passes it. Oh, God. Pass it better, you know? Kirkju. Mambimbi. Pen? Pen! Ref! Come on, man! That's a pen. By the way, um, let's talk about football. There is one comment coming in from Daniel, who says, Danny, thoughts on Konate's transfer to Liverpool? And also, Schalke getting relegated. Now, first of all, uh, you guys should be fully aware that a lot of these billionaire owners are now going to try and buy players to make it up to their fans to get get their love back. Now, one thing I've, I've seen yesterday was Jordan Henderson come forward and talk about the Liverpool owners and talk about them in a good way. So I don't, man, I don't know how to feel because I, oh my God, I'm 2-0 down. How did he score that? Mateus, you suck. How does he let him roll? Mateus. It's the near post, pal. That's the spot that you need to cover. That's your position. You're literally there. What are you doing? What is he doing? Show me this again. Put your feet out quicker. What is that? Man, this guy sucks. I, I swear to God, I'm about to buy Carvajal, man, and put him in goal for 71 rated. I'd rather have Carvajal than Mateus. This guy sucks. Man. Anyways, going back to the whole Konate thing. Got completely off topic. Um, I am extremely happy with the signing, but at the same time, I do want Kabak to stay. I think he's a very talented player, and I think if Kabak would play alongside the likes of um, Van Dijk in the future, he could be special. I, I really do believe in that. When he can learn off of him, I think he becomes much a better defender, just like Joe Gomez has done. And uh, yeah, so I, I really hope that does happen. But um, Schalke getting relegated is such a weird one, bro. It's such a weird one. Like... I don't know how to feel about it. Hold on. Galeno, near post. Of course he hits the crossbar. Why wouldn't he? Orellano, what a pass from Kukju. Orellano, yes, dude. What a ball from Kukju. I don't know how he just played that, but it was odd. The defender was right next to it. I think it like went through his chest or something. That's how it looked to me. I don't know how we just scored that, but Orellano steps up, gets his 11th goal contribution. Kukju play. Wow. What a ball. That was very impressive, man. Orellano gets it done. Well done. I, I was thinking about a finesse, but I decided, you know what? Nah, I'm just going to go for the power shot past the goalkeeper. And I think it might have been the right choice because um, as well as Orellano's finesse shot technique is, it isn't necessarily something that guarantees a goal. So I wanted to go for the power there. 2-1 at halftime. I can take that. 2-0 down. I cannot accept. Let's focus on this game and try and get things done, man. But yeah, Schalke getting relegated. I'm, I don't like it. I really don't like it. I'd rather have them up there fighting in the top six, but that is not the current situation. And of course, Benfica keeps on winning. Are we surprised? No, we are not. No, we are not. Galeno, second half starts off. Ooh, the hell was that, Sanchez? Oh, Kukje, big steal. Come on, then. I'm being me. Does well. It's past people, passes it, Kukju, oh my, I should have taken my time, I had so much time to score there, but Brooks is going to score, right, John Anthony, no, John Anthony, no, I gotta do better there, Mambimbi looks over to Kukju, no, that's Sanchez, Sanchez, incredible ball to Galeno, Galeno, yes, 2-2, two, two. I'm not giving up, bro, I am not giving up yet, 2-2, two, two. we're back into it, boys, the comeback is on, Porto, I beat you once. I can do it twice. You know it. You're scared. You're shaking in your boots. I can feel it. All right. Now that we have scored this goal, I am thinking we make changes, right? We make some changes. It's time to take Sanchez off. Um, it's time to bring on Piazon. He, he, he did well every time we subbed him on. And you know what? We are going to bring on Singh. All right. Singh comes in on the left. And uh, let's see how he does. Hopefully, he can score a goal for us as well. That'd be quality. And we do have very tired defenders. So, Brooks comes off. Kamara comes on. Nice one, Carmo. Huge steal. 
play it. And now move, everyone. Move, move, move. Orellano on the run. Orellano has the space. That is apparently a pass for Mambimbi. Mambimbi cuts inside. Left foot. Yes. 67th minute. The comeback is completed. Mambimbi has done it one more time. He doesn't miss in those positions. Five-star weak foot, five-star skill moves, I believe, is what we have with Mambimbi at the moment. And that pass right there came in from Sanchez, I believe. If I'm not, not, not mistaken, that might have been a pass from Sanchez this time. Or was it Kukchu? I don't even know. They look too similar, man. Who has the assists in the team right now? We have Kukchu with two. Okay, he has gotten both the assists there. GG's to him. And Sanchez came off. Obviously, now he has an assist as well. 3-2 Porto. What about that, huh? You thought you're going to win this game. No, you aren't. No, you aren't. Guardiol and also Camara in interesting positions here. And here goes Piazon. Piazon for his fourth goal contribution. Yes! Piazon finishes off Porto. The man who has been loaned out seven times has finally found his peace in Braga. He is stepping up his game. He's getting it done for the team. Sanchez clears the bench. Everyone runs across to him and celebrates the man who has never been shown any true love in any of these clubs. And now he has done it again. He has become a legend with that goal. 4-2. And with that, we have secured the victory for Braga against Porto. Down 2-0, but not down bad. We came back and caught Porto in 8K, as someone would like to say. And the game is finished. On top of it, we have injured someone here. I think that is Diaz. Yes, Diaz, the man who scored the goal against us, gets injured. That's what I like to see. And uh, the game should be done, referee. Please blow the whistle. Thank you very much. A huge victory against Porto. In a massive matchup in between third and second, we have showcased once again why we are the better team. First of all, that pass right there from Kukchi was incredible. The goal from Orellano was solid. Kukchi was the man who ran the show in this game. So it's nice to see him slowly fit into the squad. And overall, Mambimbi, obviously, outstanding performance once again. 9.4 rating as Benfica smashes their opponents and picks up another three points. But... At least guarantee in the second spot will guarantee us Champions League football. And that is what we're trying to achieve desperately. I want to be a coach that is known for getting teams into Champions League football. Also, by the way, there's a comment coming in from one of you boys. Danny Pro Gaming says, Danny, in the last episode, when you checked if Alisson made Champions League or Europa League, you missed them. They are apparently in Group E and I didn't see. Alisson was in Group E. And they got last. Okay. Yeah, that's probably why I didn't see them. I was looking at like the top two most of the time. So, um, yeah, Alessunt has made it into the Europa League, but failed massively there. Uh, they even lost against Rapid Wien, which is a team that I thought I made them better than. But I guess not. Things haven't worked out. And Piazon is very happy with how he's doing at the moment, which is a really nice message to see. Costa has been loaned out. We have a transfer offer for Wilson for 5.5 million. I don't... Nah, I'm going to keep him. I think I want to have him as a backup centre-back just in case. So we don't necessarily have to get rid of him. We have uh, the 16th in the league coming up right now. As Braga have won it once again won their game, I believe. Yep. Uh, that If we do win, we will still be eight points behind them. Now, we will step into this game with the team as they are all on top form. We should be doing well here against Gil Vicente, who is a team that we are not allowed to lose against. And we don't lose. Brooks, Kukju, Galeno. Okay, Galeno, stepping up his game. Three goals in two games. I like that. And Porto struggling against Belenenses, which is very good for us. Transfer deadline day has come up now, though. This is where things get interesting. We will see if we get a chance to loan out Sanchez, yes or no. Gaia joins City for 85 million. Tapsoba to Spurs for 82. Locatelli to Inter for 65. Some interesting transfers there. An offer coming in six hours into transfer deadline day. Sanchez loan offer. Huge. Yes, accept it. Please take him and then I will call him back immediately trying to fix his potential issue. That'd be great if we can make that happen. Five hours to go. Another message coming in. Francisco Mora loan offer. Left back. We actually use him. So I'm not going to loan him out. 
So um, he is the backup left back for the reserves team, I believe. So we'll keep him there for now. Palinha joins PSG for 87 million. Man, some of these transfers are crazy. Is that Sanchez being loaned out? Yes, Sanchez is loaned out. We're going to try and loan glitch the dude and hopefully it does work out into our favor. If not, Sanchez is looking very, very bad. I hope he's at least showing great potential now after this glitching. We did get lucky there. So let's hope things work out. The transfer window is done. We have done our business. We got in Kirk Drew. And he is great, so we'll see if Sanchez can regain his potential. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sim forward a few days and then get Sanchez back. And our opponent in the Europa League, guys, in the, what is it, round of 16, I believe? Round of 32, we have Spartak Moscow coming up as our opponent. That is going to be an interesting matchup for us. Hopefully, we do well enough to get a little bit further. Transfer window is closed. Obviously, Youth Academy Scout reports. Not really interested in any of these players. So we can, might as well release these dudes so we stop getting Youth Scout reports at the start of the month. But uh, they are gone. So now, Sanchez, please come back. Come back as either a higher rated player or with more potential, please. That is exactly what I'm looking for. He has gone up to a 76, which is a good sign. But that's about it. He is still at the club since. <sighs> I don't know what else to do, man. I'm trying my best, but Sanchez just won't have any potential. Even though he has great performances throughout the entire season, the dude's stats do not go up and it is doing my head in. It's very, very frustrating. If we go into his development plans, it only takes him six, seven weeks to go up though in his stats. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that is a good sign actually. Okay, I like that. Maybe he's gonna grow. Because he just went up to a 76 and he can get to a 77 still in the season. So I'm hoping we're going to see some progress there. Maybe he has a little bit of potential now. Just a little bit. Maybe. And that'll be enough for me. Arenze is outside of the top 10 in the league. They're actually 12th at the moment. And our team is on fire, as you guys know. So we, of course, get a draw. Mambimbi gets a goal. Galeno gets a goal again. Uh, Gold has missed a penalty against us. Benfica had a draw. This was our chance. No, that never happens. Man, of course they messed up. Right when we had the chance to get closer. I thought Benfica would have won anyways, but... Oh, that's frustrating. I do expect better from our team in those simulations. And you know what? We have a position change option finally coming in for Guardiol. I don't know how many weeks we're into this already, but the dude is finally changing to a left back. He has done it. Congratulations, Guardiol. You are now a left back. <laughs> Can't believe it took him that long. Uh, 77 rated as a left back at the moment. going to take him a long time to go up in ratings as a left back, but, but we'll work on it for now. Again, another team outside of the top 10, but this time around, it is Famalicao, who we are not allowed to lose against. So Galeno better keep up stepping up his game. Yes, Mambimbi, Kukju, nice. A 2-1 victory. And uh, a couple of players have been subbed on. No Piazon, no Sing, though. So that is a bit odd, but we'll take it. Now, let's see something right here. How are we looking in the league table after that game? Did we get any closer to Benfica? Are they still struggling or are we not looking good? Benfica is still eight points ahead of us. Man, this team just only... They gave us three chances to get closer this season. That's only... But that's the only thing they've done. We could have gotten four points closer only. Um, not four, sorry. Um, six points, right? Six points? No. Yeah, six points. If they get all draws and we get all wins, six, yeah, six points. Yeah, that's about it. My God, I need to stop thinking about numbers. Our entire first team is not looking good. Everyone is tired. I have to play my reserves against... No, we actually have time. Good stuff. So we have Spartak Moscow coming up. The away match and then Benfica in the middle of the week. If we want to have a chance to get close to Benfica, and if you do want to get revenge, we have to beat them. So, yes, I can't believe I'm doing this, but the reserves are going to step up against Spartak and I am going to play against Benfica. I want my revenge more than I want to win in this Europa League game. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I know this is extremely dumb to do. But man, I really want to play Benfica in this episode. I don't want to wait until the next one. I'll take a draw. That's fine with me. Luta has scored. Let's go. I'll take a draw, man. I can deal with that. I can come back into that game after Benfica. Benfica also in the Europa League. Oh, please get far so I can beat you. 
All right, here it goes. Big game. Let's step into it. Benfica against us one more time. Let's do it. 4-0 last time. I remember. I still remember vividly. I will not let you get away with this. First team. Ready? Yes. Galeno up to an 83. Wow. He has gone up loads just now. Wasn't he like stuck on 80? What the hell happened to him? How did he fly up so fast? I guess it's his performances now. Well done, Galeno. Nice stuff from you, man. Benfica, you have taken away so much from us with that 4-0 victory in the cup. But, man, I'm here to take the league away from you. I will try my best. This is the biggest game of the season, boys. Bigger than anything we have played so far. A massive matchup of the two biggest teams in Portugal at the moment. We are up there with Benfica in the top two positions. Our team has been doing well. Kukju has shown a lot of promise now in that position that he plays in. And we were offside once again. I keep running offside with Orellano. Ah, man. Oh, Orellano. Inside. He has all the space. I should have passed it. I should have passed it. But my Mimbi, he was completely open. I was being extremely selfish. Brooks. No. Oh, Cabore came out of nowhere. Stop him. Oh, dude, he doesn't even move. My goalkeeper doesn't even move. Mateus, bro, I should have sold you in January. I should have sold him, man. How, what, is, what is he doing? He, he's not jumping after it. That's your job. It's literally your job description to try and grab the ball. And you're just going to watch him take that shot like that and not even try. Man, Mateus, bro. <sighs> Does a mistake against Porto. Does a mistake against Benfica. This guy loves messing up the big games for me, man. He's literally a handicap at this point. Galeno. Come on, Galeno. Yes. Get in there. Get in there. Keep moving. Keep moving. Orellano. Orellano. Inside. Nice. Finish. Oh, come on. Mambimi. Shot. No. Please. Just let me score one. I want to get the equalizer. Oriano, oh please, that's the one. Mambimi, what a pass. Just shoot, just shoot, man. Ugh. I need a massive performance in the second half here, guys. If we don't get anything going here, I will be so disappointed with myself. I want to get another comeback like we did against Porto. It's only 1-0 in this one as well. It's only two goals if you look at it that way. Come on, we can do this, I believe. But Benfica's defense has been exceptional, by the way. I have to say that as well. Oh, another one of those I get the ball, I don't get the ball situations is popping up multiple times during this attack right here. <sighs> That's always a sign of conceding. Hold on. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe Mumbimi can just get this pass. And maybe he can score this. Come on. Yes. All right. Pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. I don't even care. 1-1, one, one, I want the win, and that's all I want. I'm not going to celebrate this as if it's, as if this is a massive goal. Felix Mambimbi, 13 goals in, the, in Liga Nos at the moment. Probably up there with the top scorers of the league. We should probably take a look at that. But that was a quality pass from Orellano, and I will take that any day of the week, man. Lovely. All right, Piazon comes on. Singh comes on. I need this win. I need it bad. And Kukchu is coming off for Horta. Come on. I want to get this dub, man. I want to get this dub so bad. A six-point game right here. Again. Man, Benfica, you're known for this, aren't you? Just constantly running through my tackles, bro. Ah, this is, this is so frustrating. Galeno, come on. Keep on going. Keep on running. Keep on running. I told you to keep on running. You can tell how much these games mean to me, man. I really want to win desperately. Please. Yes, I got the ball. Oh my god, you can't believe it. You put in a tackle and you actually get the ball. This is unbelievable. Here we go, Horta. Sing, sing, come on. Sing, come on. There he goes. Nice. Bring it in. Ah, oh, terrible cross for me. Defense. 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 Set up. Please set up. Don't let him shoot. Of course, man. Every shot is a goal. It doesn't even matter where they take the shot from. Ah, man, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this with this defense, bro. Honestly, every shot is a goal. I don't even have any hopes. Like, in that position, I should have a slither of hope that my goalkeeper is going to save it. But I don't. Every time they take a shot, I'm like, okay, it's a goal. It's a goal. Chiquinho has scored. All right, it's fine. This, this season, we're not going to win the title by the looks of things. At least from what I can tell so far.
Sing. Oh, beautiful ball from Piazon. Come on, let's get at least one back. Of course not. Of course not. It's not going to happen. Benfica once again proves they are the better team. This time we got closer than last time, but it's done. Oh, man, I'm so upset. I am so upset about Mateus. I, I, I wish I got rid of him. I really wish I got rid of him in the first uh, chance to win, though, man. We're now stuck with this dude for the entire season. He is so bad. Um, Benfica had three shots, scored two goals. We had seven, scored one. At the end of the day, their defense was better than ours, and the league title is a goner. I don't think we have a chance to catch up in terms of the league title. We will have to focus on getting second place, and if possible, trying to win in the Europa League. Yep, trying to win the Europa League, and maybe even getting up against Benfica at some point. I would love to play against them if that is a possibility for me i would love to play against benfica down the line in europa league and take that away from them because currently they are winning against olympique marseille so we can maybe get it done boys i believe we can do it i am upset yes but i am still proud of what this team has been able to achieve so far this season and i do think there is a lot more that we can achieve and hopefully we can get it done thank you guys man for watching it's been a pleasure even though I got, I got really ragey this episode, which is not something that you see from me often, but you can just tell I genuinely care. I, I really, really do. And when I lose my mind like that, yeah. Uh, Mateus, bro, you, you right here, you are the worst goalkeeper I have used in FIFA 21. And I have used 60 rated goalkeepers. I'll let you know, Mateus, I've used 60 rated ones who have made wonder saves while you're sat there with your 82 rating, not able to save anything. Your positioning has to be the worst of any goalkeeper I've seen. Honestly, has to be. He ha he needs a talking to, and now the coach talked to him. Maybe he'll turn around his, his performances, but I don't believe in it. I have no faith in Mateus. And sadly, we don't have a backup that I'd rather play. Do I play this Hornicek dude who's 19 years old? 67 rated? Might be better. Might be better. He's six foot six. Might be better. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Take care. And peace.